All right, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Appreciate you joining us. Um, you know, uh, just just touching on, on last week's game, uh, you know, again, like I said, after the game, can't, can't say enough about our, about our team, how they responded. Very proud of our guys, um, how, how they, they came together, responded to adversity, and, and really, I thought, you know, did something special together there. I mean, to go on the road and get a win, and, and in the manner in which we did it, I thought our coaching staff did a great job of, of uh, putting together a really, really solid game plan, and, and our players did a great job of executing it. And you know, we, we said going to the game that we got a, we got a win line of scrimmage, and we were able to do that. We we, we ran the ball effectively, we stopped the run uh, defensively, and um, you know protected the football. And so we, we had two turnovers uh, on defense. That we got out, and, and offense did a great job protecting it. And I thought, you know, again, can't say enough about Max and how he stepped up, and um, you know, he certainly played played a great game. Very very happy and, and proud for him. Um, uh, but I, I really think, again, it comes back to his teammates around him. I, I thought our receivers played phenomenal in that game. Our O-line um, did a great job protecting them, and as, as well as our running backs being effective in the run game and converting on on uh, third downs. And we, we were really good on, on third down, and that was really a difference in the game, able to, able to stay on the field. So um, th- that was all good. And, and all that being said, you know, Sunday we move on from that. So that, that, that's, that's in the past. And... Uh, and it's on to uh, an unbelievable uh, opportunity this weekend. This, this is a great football team that we're playing, and, and I mean that great. They're, they're extremely talented. There's, um, you know, not, not any holes anywhere in the roster, and, you know, they're, they're very well coached. And, and so um, you know, our, our guys, guys know the task at hand, and we, we have a great week of preparation and practice and, and uh, to put ourselves in a position to, to, to have that opportunity on Saturday. So um, that's the mindset of our guys, and we're, we're looking forward to a good Tuesday practice here this afternoon. And, um, and get ready to go. So with that, any questions? And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it. In many cases, before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. DJ, in terms of Max, um, at, at what point uh, in the game, did you, or right from the start, you saw how comfortable he seemed, and, and, and did those early runs sort of give him confidence and, and sort of open things up for you? Max is very just the same guy every day, so I, there's you know there's no feeling of. Um, I guess the good news is, I, like we had seen him play before. I mean, he, he he played here as a true freshman last year, and obviously played in the in the, the Central Florida game and. So I, I, there wasn't any like I wonder how he's gonna respond out there, and I mean it was just kind of like he did a great job preparing all week. He, he had great practice all week, and that's you know as, as some different questions came up throughout the week, I kept just saying I, I think Max can play really well because I really did think that he, he just he was preparing well. I think he was he was confident and comfortable with the game plan, and um, and that's Max. I mean Max just he's the same guy. He's got a quiet confidence about him, and he went out and played that way. I'm gonna continue the Max questioning. Uh, in terms of he got he really got ready last week because he knew he was starting. Do you think another week knowing he's a starter will help him, especially going up against a team like Ohio State? Yeah, I mean, he, you know, he had all week to prepare last week. And I think obviously that helps when when you're you're the guy getting all the reps with the ones throughout practice all week. Um, you know, this week won't be any any different that way. Uh, but but certainly, I mean, as you as you continue to get more reps and more experience, that that's the. The natural development of, of a football player, right? Like you know, as you get more game reps, more practice reps, you you should be improving and getting better and better. And that's that's the thought, you know, certainly with Max, just like like anyone else. DJ, with just all the talk about how the Big Ten East might be the best division in college football, and, and just where you guys want to be uh, with a team like Ohio State, I guess is that how you're viewing the, this weekend's game is it as an opportunity? Uh, just big picture wise to, to kind of go in there and have a, a solid performance uh, against you know a top ten team. Um, you know, I, all the like the big picture stuff of national scene is not anything on our radar screen at all. I, I mean, 
we, we, we feel very confident and comfortable that the, the conference and division we play in is as good as there is. I don't, we need to, I don't think we need to say it or talk about it. It's just, it, it is what it is. And, and I think it, our, our focus is in particular on this game and, and Ohio State and, uh, you know, all, all, those, all those other things. That, that, that's kind of for others to debate and talk about and, and however it falls. I mean, it's not, it's not anything we, we concern ourselves with or, or, um, or worry about. No, nothing, nothing we can do. So our, our total focus is on preparing for this, this ball game. Uh, earlier, you mentioned the third down efficiency last game. What did you guys have working for you, and do you expect that to continue moving forward? I mean, it just, you know, yeah, it's something we emphasize and talk about, certainly. I think, you know, we got to win on third down to get off the field defensively, and, and on offense, it's how you extend drives. You, you got to be able to convert. I thought DJ Moore and both Tavon Jacobs made some great catches on third down. Max did a great job putting the ball where it needed to be. And uh, the O line did a great job protecting. And then there were there were times where we, we hit hit some good runs on third down as well. And so, we I, I think you always got to mix it up, keep keep teams off balance to, as to what you're doing. But at the end of the day, you got to figure out what what you can execute on third down in order to stay on the field. So uh, you know, again, I thought I thought we had a good plan put together, and, and our guys executed. Hey, coach, uh, Ohio State's one of the Big Ten programs that really comes out of here. And Prince George is trying to grab players to bring to their program. Since you've been here, you've kept a lot of those homegrown players here. How important is it to keep on uh, evolving and, and improving the program to keep those players here and keep some of those schools in the Big Ten from taking your top talent? Uh, recruiting is a top priority of the program for sure on, on a day-to-day -day basis. And um, we're, we're doing a lot of those things to keep guys around. I think that's what's noticeable in, in terms of um, our, our improvement of our, our team on the field, our improvement of our facilities, our just you know, overall efforts towards recruiting this area. We, we, we work tirelessly as a staff to make sure that we are engaged with the area, with the, with the coaches and, and all the great people in this area to, to make them feel welcome and at home here. And, and so I, I think you know, we're just starting to see the effects of that. We're, we're, we're still a very young team in terms of that, but that, that'll be our, um, our focus every year, recruiting and, and in particular with emphasis here in this area to continue to build a, a team and a roster that is, you know, I, I think when you take the talent from this area every year, we can build a team that can compete with anyone, and that, that's what we expect to do. Coach, Darren Snyder had that big field goal right before half against Minnesota. What did that do for the confidence of the kicking game, and maybe what did it show about him as a player? Yeah, I thought it was great. I mean, I mean, more than just that, it was it was a great momentum uh, going into the half. You know, I, I think you look how we closed out both 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 halves. The first half at the end of the game was, I thought, you know, big in the game and terrific by our guys. There was some great situational football to play before that. Ty Johnson did a great job of, of getting down and, and sliding to save some time on the clock, not try and gain five extra yards and, and run out of time. And and, and for Henry to come in and, and um, hit that was big. It was a 51 yard field goal. You know, that's that's. Something we, we we haven't been able to do or have here in a while, you know. So it's that that yeah, we, we can certainly build on that, and um, you know, very excited for him. He he's been a been a great addition to our team. Your defense seemed to start to play on Minnesota's side of the ball. Can you talk about how effective Carter's been on that attack, and what you see with the growth of J.C. Jackson at cornerback? J Jermaine is, I mean, that's that's who our that's our guy. That's that's our, our leader and. Um, He's been productive in every game so far this year. Certainly, him getting downhill and making plays has helped us. Um, he's got a got great leadership qualities about him, and, and makes a lot of plays and takes football very seriously and, and puts the work in everyday practice. So he's he's been tremendous. And, and, and JC, I think again, is um, you know he's getting better and better every week. I, I think he's a phenomenal talent. He, he's you know extremely gifted corner who's just. Continue to get better and better. Cause you, you look at the, the grand scheme of things for him. He, he was without football for two years. He came here, played last year, dealt with two shoulder injuries basically the entire season. Just played through it because he's tough enough to do it. So so wasn't fully healthy. Was two years out of football and playing. So th there there were some ups and downs of inconsistencies, which I, I think you'd expect from anyone. And so now with him having you know a full off season with us and, and now playing, I, I think he's he's starting now to show what his capabilities are. I think he'll just continue to get better. DJ, going back to Max, when you guys were first recruiting him, was there something that really uh, jumped out and just really attracted you guys to him, uh, whether it was the quiet confidence or the arm strength, or do you just do you remember those early days of wanting him? Yeah, I think it's just it was that. I mean, you could tell being around him, he's got you got a good good presence about him. He's got a, a confidence to him. He's he's extremely intelligent. Um, he's very thorough. Those those are the qualities you want you you really want and you know. 
in any player, those are helpful, but especially in your quarterback, you, you want those things. And um, that, that's what he is. He's, he's, he's meticulous about the things he does. Um, and, uh, you know, I think, like, you spend some time with him, you can see that, you can feel that, sense that. And I think, I think the, the, the same thing can be said for his teammates being around him. And um, it was neat to see that those guys, everyone in the locker room after the game was obviously very excited about the win. But it, it was, I mean, it was a group of guys, you know, grabbing and hugging Max. They were excited for Max. And that, that tells you what type of teammate someone is. When others are excited about another man's success, that tells you about him. And that, that, that's what I thought was, was really neat after the game. Coach, defending Ohio State, initially JT Barrett gets a lot of the spotlight, but they've got a running back who averages over seven yards to carry Dobbins. What have you seen on tape? What makes him special? Yeah, he, he can run. He's, I mean, he's, he's fast. He can, uh, he can make you miss, run you over. Um, he, he plays with, you know, just great effort and energy. I mean, you, there's, there's an excitement when he's, when he's on it. You can tell he plays full speed. So, um, yeah, I mean, there, there's, there's certainly a lot of, a lot of different, different weapons they, they, can, they can use offensively. And um, he, he's, you know, he's one of them. I think, I think it's, you know, for, for a guy like that as a true freshman playing, it's pretty, pretty phenomenal. Last week you said you, you, you didn't think you were going to have to change the offense that much for Max. You had confidence that he could get out of the pocket and run. Those two early runs he made, one for a touchdown, I think one for a first down, did that sort of open things up for, for him a little bit? It kept people off of him a little, as well as for, obviously, for, for uh, Ty and, and Lorenzo? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that definitely had an effect on him. I, I think re really what the way things are built offensively is, is the – Take what we're able to, to get, you know. It, it's so I think us being able to, you know, be multiple and all that certainly helps us because I think when, when we can line up in different formations and say, okay, what, what's what's there? What can we what can we go get? And if, if that includes a, you know, a quarterback run, then Max got to be able to do it. And I think he showed it. You know, I mean, every guy has different strengths and weaknesses and all that. But I think I think Max is a complete player. And. Um, you know, so he he made, he those those are plays for him to make a decision and read, and he made he made the right decision when he did. I mean, he he, he was effective. You know, I don't think we're gonna, we're gonna have Max carrying thirty times a game, but but I think you know he can be effective certainly when it's when it's there for him. Thank you. I want you to take over.